Namaste and good morning. Welcome to our sunrise meditation with Nichananda Das. Hope you've had a very good week. You've been able to fit some meditation in practice into your into your week so that you're keeping things nice and relaxed and focused. So we're going to be moving into a breathing exercise first called Nadi Shodan. This is alternate nostril breathing. So just to begin, you'd like to just find yourself a nice, relaxed, comfortable sitting position. Just sitting with your back straight, wherever you prefer to sit, whether you're sitting in a chair or cross-legged on the floor, it's all fine. So these breathing techniques called pranayama just help to slow the mind down how to prepare us to focus on our meditation practices. It's something that you can implement into your daily life as well. So just placing your hands now on the knees, the index finger and thumb, softly touching, closing the eyes, Let's bring our focus inward now to the breath. So we're just scanning the breath a little, just getting a feel for where it's at. It's consciously making an effort to try and deepen the breath. You may find it as of assistance to put one of your hands on your lower abdomen. This is just a starting point or a reference point to begin and finish your breath. So as you're breathing in, expand the abdomen. And as you breathe out, contract your abdomen. Bringing your focus now, your mind, placing it on your breath, the mind it likes to wander away and be caught up in all sorts of stuff. Bring it now back to focus on the breath. So we're going to be making our hand shape the five fingers into three. You can use your left or right hand. So these two middle fingers are going to be placed just on the third eye. So with these two spare digits, you're going to be alternating opening and closing the nostrils. So the cycle will be to breathe in one side, then close that side off, breathe out the other side, Breathe in that second side. So moving in this loop-like fashion. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. So I'll guide you through this. It's very beneficial for balancing out the energy in the body, the different sides of the brain. It's very calming. So we'll begin now with the thumb closing off the left nostril. Inhale through the right. Close off the right, exhale out the left. Inhale through the left. Exhale out the right. Remember, as you're breathing out one nostril, we close off the other. Breathe in through the left. Exhale out 
Exhale at the right. So it's important to keep your breath nice and smooth and comfortable, not holding your breath at any point. Let's do one more cycle. Inhale through the left. Close off. Exhale out the right. So let's take our hands now to the knees. Keeping the eyes closed. So as I normally like to do, I like to share a little bit of information from the ancient yoga texts. So the practice of meditation is designed to purify our consciousness. The reason that our minds are so disturbed because we're engaging in the senses in material activities and being overstimulated. So in the Bhagavad Gita it states, thus a man's pure consciousness is covered by his eternal enemy in the form of lust, which is never satisfied and burns like fire. The senses, the mind, and the intelligence are the sitting places of this lust, which veils the real knowledge of the living entity and bewilders him. Therefore, O Arjuna, best of the Bharats, in the very beginning, curb this great symbol, lust, by regulating the senses and slay this destroyer of knowledge and self-realization. So with this instruction here, we're recommended to purify our consciousness. And in this age that we live, this very chaotic age, the beneficial practices are kirtan meditation, japa meditation, so we're going to be moving into Japa meditation. I've seen I've put my beads somewhere. Can't find them. So we're going to be focusing on the mantra Gopala, Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. So on each bead, we'll focus on that mantra, keeping our mind placed on that transcendental sound. So when you find that your mind drifts away, be aware of it. Don't be distracted. And bring your mind back to the mantra. My beads have appeared. Thank you. Okay, so let's start on the first bead. So we're going to be going around 108 times, which makes up one set of Japa Mala. Okay, let's begin. Gopala, Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. Gopala, Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. Gopala, Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. Gopala, Govinda Rama, 
Madana Mohana. Gopala, Govindarama, 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 
Madana Mohana. Gopala Govindurama, 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 Madana Mohana. Last bit. Gopala Govindurama, Madana Mohana. So as we refer back to that text that we just read in the Bhagavad Gita, this is how we can cool the lust that sits in the senses by focusing on transcendental sound, focusing on these sacred mantras to purify our consciousness. So we'll move into kirtan practice now. So we're going to be using the mantra, Chaitanya, Nichananda Gohari. So I'll sing that once for you. And then you can chant that mantra back to me. Keeping our minds focused on the sounds. Chaitanya Nichananda Go. Hari Chaitanya Nichinanda Go Hari Chaitanya Nichinanda Go Chaitanya Nichinanda Go Hari Chaitanya 
Micinando Ancora Chaitanya Micinando Chaitanya Nichinanda Chaitanya Nichinanda Chaitanya Nichinanda Chaitanya Nichinanda Go Chaitanya Nichinanda Chaitanya Nichinanda Gauri Chaitanya Nichinanda just like to thank you very much for joining me for this meditation practice. Hope you can implement it into your daily life. Namaste.